time to take you on a zip trip. This week we are in Greenville from the history to all the great food. We're showing you what makes the city so special. Our Fred Cunningham is joining us now live from Floor Field in downtown Greenville with more. Good morning, Fred. Good morning, Sabila. We are in Greenville, a city that is just exploding all the time. We actually have a better idea now of how much it's growing and how quickly. Beth Brotherton is here. She's the Director of Community and Neighborhood Relations for the city. You just got the numbers from the census about we a did. week or so ago. What have we learned? Uh, we've learned what is like the worst kept secret in the whole world is that Greenville is growing and growing rapidly. Like the rest of the upstate, Spartanburg, Anderson, mm -hmm. Everybody's seeing huge population increases. For us, it was over 20%. Mm -hmm. So Greenville's population, while still small because of our small size, right. is over 70,000. But if you look at the way the city is changing, people are talking all the time. There is so much construction mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, we just had the Camperdown building go up. Um, you know, there's a notice for a public hearing on zoning right here behind us. Yeah. And so the city's growing rapidly and a lot of people who've lived here a long time obviously ask the question like is that a good thing or how do we preserve what's already here right. and the character and that sort of thing so um earlier last year we we passed something called gvl 2040 which is our plan mm -hmm. for the next 20 years mm -hmm. what do we want greenville to look like mm -hmm. how do we grow responsibly and you know we came up with economic development green space which i know we'll talk about in a minute yeah. mobility how do we get around like is this a walkable area and the answer clearly with this lovely person and their dog is yes, yes. um and <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one is affordable housing yeah. you know people is it still how do we make sure that people can still find greenville to be livable mm -hmm. Very good. And one thing we're talking about, you mentioned green space. A huge new green space is coming. We're going to have a third major park here in the city yeah. very, very soon. It's so exciting. Um, we're looking at April of 2022, Unity Park. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, they delivered some huge pieces of playground equipment. It's part of the natural playground. When I saw the pictures, I was like, why are they delivering giant trees? <laughs> but they're actually like playground trees wow. and playground boulders. So it's going to be a very natural park. It's going to have a splash ground. But a big piece of this is this is development in a part of Greenville, West Greenville, that's traditionally been industrial, mm -hmm. underdeveloped railroad tracks. And now it is going to be this amazing gathering space for the community, for the city. Um, again, huge open space, three pedestrian bridges to connect businesses to the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Yeah. And again, this mobility piece, this open space piece, 60 acres of kind of the third signature park here in Greenville. It's extremely exciting times here. We could go on the four, full four hours just as talking about all the I, things I could. that are coming. Yeah. There's, she's that good at that kind of thing. <laughs> Beth Brotherton from the city, yeah. thanks for being with us. You're welcome, good to good see you, Fred. Good to see you, and back to Seville in the studio. All right, Fred, thanks so much for that. Also next here on 7 News, we have a lot more from Greenville, so stay tuned as we continue to explore the city in a special edition of Zip Trip on 7 News this morning. We'll be right back.